Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy, gaming, and it is February 2nd. The reason I'm bringing you back in February is we have a problem. <laughs> that problem is that I uh, underestimated how much silage my biogas plant is using, and it's going to run out before we can get into March and get grass cut and get it fermented. Uh, so let's take a look and see. Not It's not the end of the world. It could be just a very minor setback, but we do have somewhat of an ace up our sleeve here. Um, so yeah, you can see the size is now down to 31,270. So I'm roughly estimating that it goes through about 300,000 liters in four days time. Well, at least the days that I'm using on this playthrough, which is three days per month. Uh, well, no, I guess that would be, f yeah, four full days because it's the morning of the fifth day since I left you guys in the last episode when it was full. So, um, what we can do though, even though the, the return's not going to be as good, we have slurry. So we can at least dump some slurry in it to try and keep it going until, you know, we can get some silage going in March. Another option though, it's not going to make that big of a deal. Uh, it, in fact, it's going to be so insignificant. I don't think I'm even going to use it, but I was going to say, I've got a little bit of silage in here too for my cattle feed, but. Um, you know, that's another wagon and a half ish of silage for our cows and 9,000 silage dumped in there is not going to make that much difference. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take our slurry over there. Um, I don't know about the manure. I really, I've been kind of stingy with the manure because I want to make sure we have enough, you know, for our greenhouses, which is our biggest money maker. Though they are pretty full. Yeah. Mm, now let's just let's just focus on on getting some slurry over there. Um, incidentally, this came up for sale a day or two back, and so I just grabbed another one because I really like these tippers. So yeah, we got another Flegel trailer. Very nice. These are forty thousand liter trailers. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We we need to get ourselves a slurry tank, and not not an applicator tank like what we already own, but we have to get an actual hauling tank. We're just gonna lease it and take that over to our uh, our biogas plant. And if you look at our money, we're almost at a million dollars too, which is just fantastic. Okay, so let's go into here, and we are good. We want to find. Big tankers. Um, where are we gonna look for that? I think. Uh, I guess we if we look at slurry tanks. Okay, so that's fifteen. That's twenty one. That's <clears throat> that's an actual applicator tank. We, it has to be a hauling tank, from what I understand. As are all of those. That's only eight thousand liters. Can um. 21,000. These are, these are kind of like, for lack of a better way of describing them, they're kind of like slurry tippers. <clears throat> In other words, you load them up with slurry and take them out to the field. And, you know, I actually wouldn't mind having one of those. The bigger one holds 65,000 liters. So we might actually get one of those. They're not that expensive either, but we'll wait on that till later. So the biggest tanker I'm seeing in here will hold 21,000 liters. So how much that would be I think two trips. Let's take a look at our cows. We have Oh no, that'd be about th three trips because we have almost 60,000 liters of slurry. Okay. Um is there anything else? This is what's in the sales by the way. There is this nice Challenger tractor but uh it's only a 380 horse. Well, I think I guess you can set it up for a 431, but it's $293,000. Uh, that's expensive, man. We're not doing that. Um, okay, so anyway, let's take a look. Let's go back into here. Are there any other big tankers that can hold slurry? Let's look at these. None of those do slurry. This does 
and it can and it can go up to fifty thousand liters. What? Oh, you know what? I think that's. Hold on a second. Yeah, I think the this is a modded trailer that we can go with an unreal capacity, so it's up to fifty thousand. But it's not it's not realistic, so we're not going to do that. We are not going to do that. Um, this guy cannot hold um, slurry. So, unless there's something under miscellaneous. Um, no. Okay, so, I, yeah, it looks like our best bet's going to be to lease this ULT24 trailer because it'll do slurry. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to lease this guy. For $2,652. And yeah, this should work, right? I hope it works. Guess we're going to find out, aren't we? And it's going to take us three trips to do all this. So we best get at it. It's going to be slippery too with the snow. Ultralight tank wagon. Okay. Yeehaw! Okay, let's unload that. Let's go to the biogas plant and activate slurry. So, as, yeah, as you can see, it's not going to produce anywhere near as well as silage, but it's something. It's better than nothing going on at all. So we'll activate that and get that going. You know, the other thing, now sugar beet cuts are even worse. <laughs> I ain't doing sugar beet cuts, man. That is a lot of work. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to have, I'm going to make, you know, two more trips to get the rest of the slurry over here. And then <clears throat> after that, I will um, see you guys on March the 1st. All right, guys, it is March the 1st, and uh, we have $1,072,511. <laughs> All right, now, I have the uh, big M out on the field right now uh, running course play. Uh, so he's cutting our, starting to cut the hay. And we are going to purchase a couple big ticket items here first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the store and we're going to look in the sales and there's nothing in there i want uh we're going to go to large tractors and we're going to finally buy ourselves a brand new fast track 8330 jcb which i have been wanting pretty much almost from day one uh, in this series we want gps on it we want to put bkt wide tires on it and that's going to set us back three hundred six thousand dollars but hey it is all ours. Wait a minute. Why is the license plate? What's up with the license plate? How come it's not using my license plate? Um, let's go to type two. Don't know why that is. That needs to be a number sign. And then we want O L D G U Y S. Where's S? Uh, here and number sign. There we go. Okay. So now wait. Oh, front and back. There we go. Okay. Nice. I've got that taken care of and here we go. We're buying it. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally have our own brand spanking new JCB 8330 fast track. I love this tractor. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that's done. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into here. And we're going to go into... No, not here. We're going to go here. Into the map. And we are finally... Also, something I've been wanting to do for almost since day one. 
we are finally going to purchase field 71. Largest hay field on the map. Uh, I do contracts on this field all the time. Now it's our field. And one thing that's always frustrated me about this map is that, or not this map, I'm sorry, this field, is it's got so much extra ground that's not being used on it. And we are going to change that. So we are now the proud owners of Field 71, and now we're down to $80,000, but that's okay. That is fine. That's what that money's for. Okay. Now, I always reserve the right to change my mind. Old guy's prerogative and all that, but at as of right now, that's probably going to be the last hay field that we are going to have in this series. Uh, we already have a substantial amount of hay, and, and by adding 71 to the mix, um, I think we'll have all the hay we'll ever want in this series. And, well, when I say hay, I really mean silage, because we're going to turn almost all of it into silage. Because silage is one of the most profitable things to sell here in Farm Simulator 22. Um, so, the thing is, though, is we got a lot of work to do on Field 71 to clear all the extra wood and brush and stuff off of it that we don't want and expand the field. Okay, so that means we're going to go into here, back into forestry equipment or into forestry equipment. There's a really neat, um, I'm going to, I'm going to lease this winch. It's only 382 bucks. We might need that. And there's a really neat forestry mulcher mod that I found that I'm using on Silver Run uh, that we're going to also lease. This thing is amazing because... Um, what it does is it, it mulches, but it doesn't tear up the ground like the in game, you know, the base game mulchers. It's not super realistic, but it's really nice because it, you know, it doesn't tear stuff up and make it look ugly. Not that that matters a whole lot for our purposes because of the fact that we're going to plow up all that ground anyways. But the other thing that's nice about this is it's got three and a half meter length. So it's also a very wide mulcher. Okay. So we're going to lease this. And uh, it does come with, um, another attachment that, that will create fields, but we don't care about that because we're going to go through and plow everything anyways. Now, the other thing I want to do is we're going to be dealing with elm trees. Elm trees are a royal pain in the butt um, for for mulching. So, I, I mean, for, for doing anything with, really. So, this, this, um, this is a mod, but it doesn't load properly. So, I can't get it to load. I don't know why. I've already tried to uh, uninstall it and reinstall it and it's not working. And this, I tried this thing out on, on Silver Run. It's extremely expensive. It's kind of neat, but it's also really glitchy. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably just get the in-game mulcher uh, or wood chipper to be more precise. But, okay, hold on a second. This is going to cost us $9,690 to lease. How much is this going to cost us to lease? It's the self-propelled one. $33,000. You Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Dang. All right. So yeah, we're we're just going to get the in-game chipper. It works okay. Um it, in fact, it, it's the thing I don't like about it is it's kind of got a small feed area, but it, at least it's a little more stable than the modded ones I've tried. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to lease this. It's got a tipper on it. It can hold 16,000 liters, but and, and we'll just have to pull a trailer along and tip the chips into it. Okay, so let's lease this guy. Got that done. And I don't think we need anything else at this point. Right. Okay, so let's get in our brand new JCB. I love it. I love it. The other advantage, secondary advantage of having this little winch is it'll give us a little bit of a, a rear weight, too. Okay, I'll get that on. Okay, fantastic. Okay, get that back up in the air there, man. It is heavy. It is indeed heavy. Okay. So, let's get... 
Uh, Mr. JCB down to the field. Well, actually, let's have the AI drive him down to the field, even though it's not that far away. And um, why don't you just stage right here? Okay. Now, we're going to pull and operate the chipper with the fint. And we're going to have the man follow along behind with the trailer to tip into. Actually, you know what I might do instead, since we're since we're pretty close to the farm. I might just bring the whole thing back and just tip it somewhere on the farm. Because the thing is, is wood chips are a commodity that drastically fluctuates in price. Um, so if you look at this, it can go from anywhere from 171 all the way up to 557 dollars. And obviously, we don't really want to. I mean, I guess we could sell it in February. But, you know, considering this price difference, uh, we're just going to dump it to the ground and sit on it until next January. And then we're going to load it up and sell it and make, make the best money we can off of it. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan there. So, yeah, instead of messing, whoops, I guess I didn't hook that up. Instead of messing around with trying to pull a trailer behind and dumping the trailer, I'm just going to bring this whole thing back to the farm, find a spot somewhere. I don't know where. We'll figure it out and just dump this stuff on the ground and then we'll sell it again next uh, January that is the plan stand if we were further away it'd be different but you know we're just right over the train tracks there so we're not that far away at all and we've got a you know we've got a crane on here and we've got the winch on the JCB for the larger uh he wait what do you mean he's complete? Oh, not that guy. The other guy. Okay, I was going to say, how could he be done mowing already? <laughs> no way. Okay. Now, one other caveat to all of this. Elm trees are a royal pain in the keister in this game to, to log. And you guys, if you've been watching me or anybody else, for that matter, that's ever tried to do it, you know that's true. I'm going to try and legit use the equipment, but if it gets a little too frustrating for me, I'm just going to super strength stuff in because I, I do not want to spend, you know, four or five real time hours trying to get these doggone trees out of here. Okay, so there you go. We've set the stage for what's going to happen here. Um, Let's see. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and move, move you maybe right up to here ish will unfold I want to kind of get this out of the way we're not going to use this except for the really big logs uh, so let's just move it over there Okay, so this is our first victim here. And of course we'll use the forestry mulcher to remove the stumps. Now, can we, I, I don't know if I can just put this in here without cutting it up, let's just see what happens. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Okay, also, guys, for the for the really small stumps like this one, wherever the heck it just went, <laughs> here it is. I'm just going to use Lumberjack Mod to remove them, but the big stumps will use the mulcher, the forestry mulcher. Okay, let's get this one. Come on. Give me the cut. Give me the cut thing. Oh, right there. That 
it's actually working pretty good. I mean, all things considered, anyway. This one's a little glitched. It's like it's kind of pulling it in there. I can't grab a hold of it. All right, well, let's just let it do its thing. Um, all right, now we'll do this one. Now, this one's a little too heavy for me to lift by hand. So what we're going to do is, if I cut it, say, right here... Now can I lift it by hand? Nope. Okay. Let's get these branches off. There we go. Uh, now we can lift this trunk. What are you doing? Hold on. It's like trying to turn it when I get it in there. Don't do this at home, boys and girls. <laughs> Something... Oh. This is so glitchy. All right, let's, let's super strength it and get back a little further. It's like there's something blocking it. See how it's like twisting when I try and put it in there? What if we try it from the other side? There we go. Okay, I don't know, man. Can't explain that one. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. All right, let's grab this piece. I should probably just play, pay Larry and the Landscaper to do this, but we'll, we'll do it, at least until I get so frustrated that I'm, I'm ready to call Larry the Landscaper. Uh, you know, we'll probably, I don't know, we'll probably make thirty dollars to $40,000 off these wood chips if we, uh, I, that's just a, a guess. I could be completely wrong. We could make a lot more or a lot less, but... Alright, it's eating it. Man, I can't believe I can pick this up. Alright, this one I think we're going to take off a couple more limbs. Because otherwise it might just get a little too glitchy for us. got super strength on. No wonder. No wonder I was able to pick that thing up. Get out of there. Can we get this piece here? What is going on? Yeah, probably just too many branches. All right. Yeah, I'm going to just, um, I'm not going to try and put these little branches in uh, because I think that you know they're they're what you might call delete branches because we, we noticed that when I saw them they just disappear and this apparently doesn't do well with delete branches okay let's move a little closer to the big tree over here and actually I'm gonna get up here where we're a little more level too 
unfold. Alright, let's get the little tree here first. Actually, you know what? Um, do we want to try and mow down this hill? I mean, we've been doing it for years over on this side. I don't know how long that's been there. Is this steeper or is it about the same deal? Yeah, let's do it. Get the delete stuff off of here. If I can get my saw to behave. Come on, man. Got to get up a little higher, I think. There. Okay, that was the delete section on that side. Oh, that's the big tree. Okay. And this one here. Okay. Now, it'll probably... Whoops. It'll probably eat this without any problems. Because we got all the weird delete parts off. Let's see. Well, except for the branch has got a little weird. Push it in there. Okay, that's sort of gone in there. There we go. Okay. So far, not too bad. <laughs> this can be, this can be an exercise in frustration, man. I'll tell you what, working with these trees, but I've had worse. Okay, let's get these branches off. Uh, there we go. Can I get this one too? Oh, I can get that one. That was a little weird. Okay, let's deal with these first. Here, I'm gonna, um... Get the delete parts off. There we go. The thing that's just a little tricky about this is getting the saw in the right place. Uh, Alright, yeah, that one's... I, I don't even know what's going on with that one. We'll probably have to try and hit that with the mulcher. Come on. There we go. And right there. Okay, let's see. I mean, this thing is really crooked. Maybe we'll cut it here. See what happens. Oh, <laughs> okay. Poof, you're gone. Okay, that didn't like it. Try it again. Okay, we're good. We're good to go there. Oh. That other piece is gone. It must have been attached to the to the branch there. Okay, can we get the delete part off of here? There we go. Delete part's gone. Bring this up here. No. 
Nice. Okay. Very cool. One more branch before we bring the big boy down. That was that little piece I cut off. Now, can I reach that branch? Uh, well, yeah, right here. We're gonna get some. We're gonna get some chips out of this boy. What about this other one? Closer. There, that'll work. Okay. We're going to have to cut this one in half because it's too big for us to carry. For the real big one, um, we have the winch. Honestly, though, it might be easier for me just to saw it down into small enough chunks to carry. We'll see. big. I'm going to keep uh, trying to grab it and not actually grabbing it. Okay. Get this chunk here. Still too big to grab. Oh, we got one more delete piece. Hmm, that one's kind of glitched. Try super strength. No, that's not doing it anyway, either. Okay, well, whatever. Whatevs, man. Now, this one's still too heavy for us to carry uh, without super strength. So let's just cut it down some more. Again, I know I could use the winch, and we probably will for the big one, but it's just quicker to do it this way. The other thing too is once we get over there we'll have the we'll be a little closer. I just didn't want to put the chipper down on this this um, bank here because you know with it not being level it might not work too well. I don't know what's going on with this log. Can I saw it a little bit?
There we go. Okay, now. What we're gonna do here is. Okay, it looks like our mower is done. Now, let's get the winch for this one. I want to bring it in close enough so the crane can get to it. Okay. See it popping up the hill. Here it comes. All right. Let's come down here. See, look at all this grass that's just hasn't been used. It's always bugged the heck out of me. Uh, but we're fixing that issue, man. This has been a really red letter episode, man. We got our favorite tractor finally and our favorite hayfield. There we go. That's all we need to do with that guy. I noticed this thing doesn't seem to mulch up the grass either, which is fine because I want to cut it. We're gonna we're gonna harvest this wild grass too that the first time around. But then we're going to plow it and, you know, make it into real field grass because you get lots more yield out of it, of course. Okay, let's come over this way. Let's park you there. And now we're going to use the crane to pick up that big piece. there okay why aren't you all right hold on a second my uh, controls don't seem to be working right the first thing I want to do is I want to turn off easy arm control because it's not easy it messes me up with these cranes it works good with the forestry harvester i like it for that but i don't like it for these um the pal finger cranes okay so save that now there we go okay come down a little more and Actually, I want you to go out even further. Okay, come around this way. All right, let's change our angle. Got it. Okay. And release it. Okay. That was a little clunky, but it wasn't terrible. And with that big log, ladies and gentlemen, we're already 77% full. Just off of those few little trees we did. That's crazy, man. Crazy. But I think it's going to be a little easier by virtue of the fact that we're just going to be closer. Uh, moving forward because we don't have to worry about the the bank now 
Okay, here's what's going to happen. Let me let me just kind of give you the rundown here. Um, I'm going to get into build mode just so we can kind of fly around a little bit. Basically, all of this crap's coming out of here. All these trees, all the brush, all the way up to the creek. Um, and then this, we're going to plow this up to, you know, probably right about here, like like what we did on this side, and plant field grass. All of the shrubs and trees on this side of the creek, all the way around here, are going away. But I'm not going to take these away because there's no reason to. All of these shrubs and trees here are going away completely. Um, even probably these over here. Do I own that property? Let's see. Uh, no, I don't actually. Okay, so... So yeah, we'll basically take it as far as we can take it and then wrap it around here. Um, on this side of the field, let's see, uh, we don't really have any trees or shrubs to remove to speak of, but we, we will get rid of all of these. Um, th this, there's like a little horseshoe area around this house that we don't own. And um, pro since we have the equipment lease, we probably will go in and just remove all of these trees in brush too and open all this up for more hay or maybe even to put a, some silos or something. All this is good. So basically when it's all said and done, every single tree and brush is going to be cleared off this field and this part of the field. We're going to expand it out to the power line poles on this side and then, you know, whatever I decide to do on that side and greatly increase the uh, capacity of this field the size of this field i'll bet you by doing that we will probably increase it by at least 20 percent maybe even 30 percent more than what it currently um can do so that's the plan stand but it's going to take me a while to do this it really is um and i'm not going to i'm not going to record all of it it's just <laughs> it's just going to take too long um so you guys get the basic idea of what's going to happen here I don't, because this is already field grass, I don't think we need to worry about like plowing it or anything like that, but we will need to plow and lime and, you know, do all that kind of stuff to, to the new field area that we're going to create here. Okay guys. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, I don't think I actually fully demonstrated this awesome forestry mulcher. So let's do that really quick before we wrap up this episode. Um, like I mentioned, the thing I like about this mulcher is that it's, it's nice and wide for one thing, but it will remove the vegetation without tearing up the ground. That's, that's what I really like about it. As unrealistic as that probably is. <laughs> so just to kind of demonstrate it real quick here. And I use this, you know, I've been using this a lot on my Silver Run Forest series, so... Um, you know, come and check that out. But see, basically what's happening here is if this was a normal base game forestry mulcher, the ground would be getting all chewed up. It is eating up the grass, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but not much I can do about that because we got we got to get these shrubs, uh, this brush out of here. But that's all right because, you know, again, we're going to replant all of this and, and make it real field grass. And this 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 field's gonna be a monster, you guys, in terms of its yield. It's gonna be so good by the time I'm done with it. In fact, we could even knock the trees down with this if we wanted to. That might even be easier to do. We just bump it. There we go. And then uh, the thing is, is I don't want to chew up the trunks with this though, because. Uh, we want to put those in the chipper and get get the wood chips. So yeah, I probably won't use this to knock the trees down. We'll get them with the saw. I don't care so much about these smaller trees, but the big ones, there's a lot of money in chips. <laughs> Not in the logs, but in chips uh, for those trees. But very nice mulcher. Love it. Hello, train. Okay, we're stuck on something. Anyway, that just kind of gives you a quick little demo of uh, of this mulcher. It's really nice.
Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to keep working on this. And um, I'll bring you back at some point in the next episode. Maybe while we're still in progress with this. Just to kind of give you an update on how things are going. I'm also going to keep working on, you know, getting the hay cut on our, our property uh, as it is. In fact, we need to get that guy going on the next field. And we should probably get this off of the train tracks. Um, that would be a good job for the winch. I'm going to I'm gonna try not to use super strength too much. But, again, I, as I, I think I told you guys earlier, I reserve the right to use it if things get a little, little too frustrating. But, you know, I, I want to try and use the tools as legit as possible within within reason. And uh, so with that being said, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And be sure to come and check out the Silver Run Forest series, too. I am having so much fun on that map, you guys. I know I've already said that to you a few times now. And you're probably getting tired of hearing me say it. But it is really fun. And it's such a well-made map, too. And um, lots more episodes planned uh, for Silver Run as well. Okay, guys. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye.